Today, students from Millwood High School are going to be competing in a modified CHOP challenge. We wanted to introduce these kids to nutrition, the benefits of nutrition. Some of them um, don't really have a good grasp on where to get fresh food, uh, what that means for their health. Um, so we wanted a fun way, so they, an interactive way. So we chose these kids who are already in the culinary arts program to help bring that to the rest of the school. Everybody knows that Oklahomans don't eat enough fruits and vegetables, and so if we can play a part in promoting a healthier Oklahoma through culinary arts, that's exactly what we intend to do. I gave two students two mystery baskets full of a variety of vegetables. It was their job to take those ingredients and make a nice healthy salad in 30 minutes and present to the judges. Especially in the African American communities or um, poor communities, you have food deserts in which you cannot find fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. Also, as you get older in the African American community, individuals develop type 2 diabetes from lack of exercise and poor diet. So any opportunity that I get to work with students and work with them young, I try to help my students understand the importance of eating healthy, eating right, and getting at least 30 minutes of exercise a day, twice a day. The TSET uh, Incentive District Grant Funds are incredibly important to this school. Um, they've helped fund programs um, and activities to teach these kids about nutrition. I can't speak enough about the TSET Grant, how they've reached out to our school to provide us funds. Being a smaller school district, we don't have the extra funds to provide things like this to our students. And having the TSET step up and say, well, if you guys are making a healthy school, we have the funds to support you. That's incredible and something you can't beat when you have a partnership like that that are willing to step out and help the students and back the students while they're putting them on the program.